Right now, the Democrats have the president, nothing can get done. I'm glad to stand the tax issue, but I'm part of that, uh, making sure that everybody does raise taxes. And yet, across the country, here in Ohio, in many of the 57 states, uh, there's been real movement with Republicans and Democrats coming together, liberals and conservatives saying that on this issue, criminal justice reform and various aspects of it, from asset forfeiture to over-criminalization to mandatory minimums uh, to re-entry and how people are treated in prison, there's a great deal of agreement, right and left, and actual legislation uh, passing. Uh, how did this happen? How did we have this opportunity when on mega issues? Uh, there is a lot. One reason is, those of us on the right have started to focus on these issues. I know for many years I didn't. I focused on things the government ought not to do and had discussions about let's do less of the things we should do in the first place. But there are a number of things that the government should do, like how the criminal justice system. Uh, are there ways to do it more competently, less expensively, smarter? Uh, and I work both as Americans for Tax Reform and through Right on Crime, a coalition of uh, groups across the country, and then this larger uh, coalition to begin the conversation about those reforms. The other thing that's helped is because there's so many states, we have examples. Uh, Ohio doesn't have to guess on some of this. Washington, D.C., when they rethink this, doesn't have to guess. Texas uh, passed uh, some of these uh, uh, efforts uh, four or five years ago when I was testifying in Florida uh, years ago, and I commented, I said, this idea that I'm talking about is passed in Texas. All of a sudden, people started looking up and the pencils went down. And then I said it passed four years ago, and then they got really interested. Texas may not be attacked for being soft on crime, and four or five years ago means there have been two election cycles since somebody did something and nobody got hurt. Nobody lost their seat in office. And not only have the examples of Texas and Georgia and Utah shown real success, crime has continued to fall faster than the national average where uh, some of these reforms have been made, uh, but people have been rewarded rather than punished for taking the lead. And a lot of people, quite understandably, remember days when people could be defeated for being soft on crime. I'm, I'm all in favor of defeating somebody for being soft on crime. This is about being smart on crime, being right on crime. Punishing crime and reducing crime without being silly uh, or wasting money. Uh, one of the things conservatives did for too long was something that we laugh at liberals for. We measured inputs. How are we doing? Oh, we have lots of people in prison. Oh, we're doing fine. The, the goal isn't how many people have in prison. The goal is how few, victim, how many few victims there are. How many people are being hurt, more or fewer? How much crime is going on, more crime or less crime? That's what we want to measure. That's what we want to get to. And more inputs can be useful if you're getting more outputs, or it can be a complete waste of time, or even counterproductive uh, and, and destructive. So uh, let me leave, leave with, this is not about compromise. Compromise in Washington, D.C. was when people who disagree get together, each agree to do something stupid that they think is counterproductive because they think there's a good thing in the bill. And so you have a whole bunch of stupid mixed in with something that should be progress. This is principled men and women of the right and the left who, for their own reasons, agree that there are too many people in prison, not the right people in prison, that there's movement that can be made, there are too many laws, we can function with fewer laws. Spent nine days in burning them. They got like four laws, and it was just fine. Um, and so there are real opportunities here to have a right left principled coalition, not a question of uh, giving up your principles in order to be in the room or do something. The present mess is when people in the Mushroom Middle got together to do something for the last 50 years. This is what we need to back off of and move forward. This is an extremely helpful project, and because there is so much good luck on mega issues like taxes and spending. There's a lot of time and opportunity to focus on this, where in other states, and just last night I was talking to Senator Grassley, who's in charge of this on the Senate side in Washington, D.C., real opportunities to make real progress on this issue with right and left Republican Democrat coalition. Thank you.